So this is going to be an Inkscape basics tutorial. I'll be showing you all the different ways, all the different methods for rotating your objects inside of Inkscape. You can also apply this technique to things like text boxes as well, so keep that in mind. So here I am inside of Inkscape 1.0 and I do have my Inkscape set up in dark mode as well as the icon set to symbolic mode. I do have a tutorial on how to set that up, so I will link that to this video. But the first thing I'm gonna do is come over and grab my rectangle tool from the toolbox. You can also use the shortcut key R. Next, I'm just going to click and drag my mouse across my canvas to draw my rectangle shape. You could see the dimensions of the rectangle down here in my status bar. But once I release, you'll see that I have two handles in the top left and bottom right corner. And then I have a handle up here in the top right. So these aren't gonna be relevant to this tutorial. One thing I do want to point out is you could change the color of your shape by clicking on the swatches here. So left click will change the foreground color. Shift click will add a stroke to this. And in this case, I don't want a stroke, so I'll shift click on this red X. But now what I'll do is hit the S key on my keyboard. That'll bring up these handles in the corners of my shape as well as along the sides. So these also are not relevant for this tutorial. They just allow you to scale the shape up or down. I'll hit Control Z. What I wanna do is just click on my shape one more time with the select tool and that'll bring up these new handles. So now you can see we have these rotation handles in the corner of my shape as well as these handles running perpendicular. These actually allow you to skew the shape like that. Let me hit Control Z. So these rotate handles allow me to rotate the shape and you'll see down here in my status bar, it's gonna tell you exactly what degree you are rotating the shape by. So let me hit Control Z. So you'll see as I move this up, it's telling me in what degrees this is rotating. So this is going clockwise. If I go counterclockwise, that number will be negative. And when I release my mouse, you'll see these rotation handles will still be here, but they're gonna be in a different location from the actual corner here. So these are going to remain inside of this rectangle that's going to form around our shape, as opposed to being located directly at the corner of our shape here after we've rotated it. So we can rotate from here. It's actually going to display the value of rotation from the current point. So it's not going to basically add together the total amount of rotation plus the new amount of rotation when it's displaying down here. It's only going to show you how much you're rotating from that current point. So keep that in mind. I'll hit Control Z to back up to the point before we rotated this. So something else I wanna point out is you can use shortcut keys or what's called key modifiers in order to modify how much you're rotating your shape by. So for example, if I click and start dragging this and then I hold the Control key, that's actually gonna rotate this in 15 degree increments. And you can see that down there in the status bar, this is rotating by 15 degrees. And if I go counterclockwise, it'll be by negative 15 degrees. Another key modifier is if I hold the shift key, that's actually going to change the center of rotation. So right now it is going to be in the very center of the shape by default. When I hold the shift key, it's actually going to rotate it on the opposite corner. So you can see here, I am dragging the top left corner and it's rotating along the bottom right corner. So let's release that. I'll hit control Z. And coming over here, once again, if I hold the shift key, it'll rotate this from the top right as I drag from the bottom left. And then if I hold the control key while I do that, it will drag this in 15 degree increments along that new center of rotation. And when I release, there is our rotated shape. So I'll hit control Z to undo that. All right, so that is sort of the de facto or default way of rotating a shape, but there are many more ways of rotating your shape. For one, you can simply use the icons in your tool controls bar. So I'm clicked on this shape right now. If I come up top here, you'll see I have two icons here. The drawback to these is they can only rotate in 90 degree increments. So this one is rotating it counterclockwise. This one is rotating it clockwise, both by 90 degrees. So you can see the result of that there. You'll see also if I hover over this, there are shortcut keys to rotate this by 90 degrees. So if I hold control and then use the left bracket on my keyboard, that'll rotate this counterclockwise. Hold control, right bracket on the keyboard, that'll rotate this in the opposite direction. It's hard to tell because this shape is a symmetrical shape, so each time I rotate it by 90 degrees, it's just doing the same thing. Another way to accomplish that same thing is to go to Object, 
And then come down here and you'll see you have the option to rotate 90 degrees clockwise and rotate this 90 degrees counterclockwise. While we're inside this menu, let's come down here to the next option, which is going to be using the transform window or the transform dialog. So you can see the shortcut key for that, shift control M, but I'm just gonna click on this. So now we have this little transform window and you'll see there are several tabs here, one of which is going to be rotate, so I'll click on that. And now using this dialog, we can manually adjust the angle of rotation. So if you wanted to rotate this in one degree increments, for example, we can type in something like two, hit the enter key, and then come over here and click apply. And now that has been rotated by two degrees. I can also come up top here and just use the plus or minus keys here, the plus or minus buttons, and I can rotate this in increments even smaller. So I can go two and a half degrees, etc. One thing I do wanna note is that this rotation is applied to the rotation we already have here. So I already rotated this two degrees clockwise. If I add an additional two and a half degrees rotation to this, it'll then be four and a half degrees rotated. So it's not going to reset your rotation to zero and then add this, it's going to add this already to the existing rotation. So let's click apply, and you can see here now there are four and a half degrees rotation on this. So adding a positive value rotates this clockwise. If I add a negative value, this will rotate counterclockwise. So in this case, we know we have four and a half degrees of clockwise rotation. If I add negative four and a half degrees to this rotation, it'll basically reset this. So let's click apply. And there you can see that's been reset back to that original position. If you don't want to use negative values, you can still use positive values to rotate this counterclockwise. Simply come over here and click this little icon and that will change the rotation that you've entered in here to a counterclockwise direction as opposed to the default clockwise direction. So if I come down here now, click apply, that has been rotated 30 degrees counterclockwise. So as I mentioned at the beginning of this tutorial, you can perform rotations on any objects in Inkscape, as well as things like text boxes. So let me demonstrate that real quick. Coming over here, I'll grab my text tool and putting the caps lock key on, let's just type Inkscape. Control A to select that text and I'm going to just make this text a little larger. Let's just go much larger here. So there's our text box. So now if I come over, click on the select tool You'll see we have these handles now. Click on this once and I can rotate this. So let's go with about right there. And I can do this with something like an ellipse. Of course, if I draw a perfect circle, it's not going to have any effect if we rotate this. But there's our ellipse, S key, click on the shape and we can rotate this to whatever we want. The last thing I'll show you for this tutorial is now that we have multiple shapes on here, if I shift click, and select all three of these objects. We can use the rotation handles from one of these objects and that will rotate all of them. And I can come up top here and use the manual method and let's change this to clockwise, click apply. So that will also rotate all these, but you'll notice that all three of these were using the same center rotation point here. So basically the center of this group that we created is going to be the rotation point. But you'll see there's actually an option here inside the transform window and it says apply to each object separately. So if I click that option and let's keep this set to 15 degrees for the angle of rotation and click apply, you'll see that each one of these will now rotate along their own little center of rotation point. So let's hit control Z to see that once again, click apply. So they're all basically rotating along the center of their shape as opposed to rotating along the center of the actual group. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, you could check out my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash daviesmediadesign. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to be notified each time I have a brand new tutorial. You can check out any of the links to my resources in the description of the video. But thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.